Here's a switch. Although that doesn't really help me. Dude, I have no idea where this emerald is. Even with all three hints, I I'm actually just out of ideas. At this point, I'm just looking around. Don't even know where to start. I'm guessing it's in this elevated area. Please game, I've, I've had the fun. So you know what? Hey, wait, wait, wait. This fits the criteria. Aha. Does. Yep. This fits it. Perfect. It's probably in one of these meteorites. How can I glide, by the way? Oh, you gotta press X. Okay, then. Oh my god, I love that. That was kind of hilarious. Also, I really like uh, the emerald being inside the meteorite. That was a nice touch. Of course, I got knee. Try harder. I expected that. Also, we go to the Chow World, though. Yo, Raptor, welcome to the stream. Yeah, like... I, I kind of reached a new conclusion. Meteor Herd isn't a good level by any means, but it's much better than Mad Space, the one Rouge does. I don't really hate Meteor Herd anymore, but like, I still don't really like it. I wouldn't say it's a good level. It's not a good level. It's like, it's a low tier level, but I've seen worse levels. There are worse levels in the game now thinking about it. It's actually a pretty cool level, like design wise. It looks really nice. No, no, wait. I'll give you these stats. Picking up stuff is so much easier in this game. Like, compared to Adventure 2, it's much easier to just pick something up and give it to the Chow. Like, really fast. I feel like Adventure 2, it's re not Adventure 2, I'm playing Adventure 2. Adventure 1, I feel like it's very slow. Right now, it's very, like, it's not too bad. Goes by pretty quick. Thank you. I think that's it, buddy. I'm gonna be leaving you now. All right, we're almost done with hero story. We just need two more levels. We're at the end. After this, I totally forgot about this. All right, Rouge, let's finish this. Very well. If that's how you want to play, I will take it from you. All right, so this fight isn't bad. It's a little weird the way you hit Rouge. You got to either use screw kick or you just got to kick her at the right time. I normally just like dive at her. But the worst part by far is finding her in this big area. This is the worst part of the fight. You can lose Rouge, or Knuckles, whoever you're fighting. No, don't do that on me. Hey Rouge, I just saw you, but now I don't. I saw you, Rouge. Oh, how dare you, that was, that was a good trick. Goodbye. Not a hard fight. But like, can be a little annoying. Thank you. All right, you're dead. I will say this: the character fights in this game are much better than Adventure One. At least they're not complete jokes. I give them credit there. Sega did really well with the character fights, even though they're not difficult. They're much better than the previous. Goes around stealing J. 
gems anyway. Those belong to me. Just take them. They stink like a kidna's do. If that's what you thought, you should have given me them in the first place. I love Rouge as a character. Yeah, me too, Raptor. I like Knuckles and Rouge's interactions. They are so good. Knuckles and Rouge have a really good dynamic. Crazy Gadget. By the way, it's really unfortunate that Rouge's voice kind of sucks in the current Sonic games. I much prefer her voice in this game in Heroes. Lonnie Malella. Ma Ma not Malella, Manella, I think her name is? Lonnie Manella does a much better job as Rouge. They made her voice sound way... It's like really weird. I don't like her new voice. I much prefer this voice of Rouge. Because I know like all the Sonic voice actors change, but Rouge is actually despise her new voice. But either way, Rouge is a great character. I forgot I have the bounce bracelet. I'm not playing Adventure 1. What a great character to add. Like, I'm not saying Amy isn't great, but Rouge really just... Like, adding a... I feel like Rouge is much more prominent later in Sonic games as a Sonic female. Character... A Sonic in... A character in Sonic game that's a female. Like, Amy's fine, but I feel like Rouge was a good addition to add. Especially to the dark side. Like, just adding a, a someone who's, like, a little more different than Amy, I guess. Also, I don't have this yet, I just realized. I definitely get it in this level, the flame somersault. I definitely think Rouge was a needed addition, honestly. Just adding someone a little different from Amy, who's not, like, a damsel in distress. By the way, Crazy Gadget isn't a difficult level. It's actually a pretty cool level, but <laughs> there are some parts that I had trouble in when I was younger. Especially the last part. That part especially. Thank you. I really want to use Ancient Light because this is a good opportunity. Oh, it only hits one? Oh, I hate that. I really hate how that worked. I should have hit all of them. All right, noted. Ancient Light isn't as good as it is in um, Adventure 1. Oh, what? Okay. I had no rings. I probably shouldn't have tried that. You know what? I want to restart. I feel like I can do much better in um, this level. Oh, I keep my drives. Nice. I don't even bother picking up the drives then. Yes, yes, thank you, Oma Chow. I understand. So I love having light speed. I love having the ring dash just be a simple click of a button. I don't know what Adventure 1 was thinking. It's cool in Adventure 1, but like, it's much better to have it like this game in Sonic Heroes and Sonic 06. Basically how Sonic has it now. It's much better to have a ring dash like that. Also, I'm not going to restart every single time I die. This level is just a level I feel like I can get an A rank in. It's the only reason I did that. I really wanted that bomb, but whatever. It's fine. This level is a level I feel like I can actually A rank. 
or get really close. So I want to see. I have, think I have more potential. Also, my dead death was kind of stupid, in my opinion. Like I, that was me being dumb. I think that's skunk. Thank you. We're almost back to where we were. Ancient light is weird in this game. Sometimes it hits everything. Sometimes it doesn't. Yeah, I don't really use ancient light much. Either with, even with Shadow, because Shadow has it as well. I do not really use Ancient Light too much. That's probably why. <laughs> I'm not doing that again. I, why do I keep doing that? It's a force of habit. I want it. No, I want that life. I can probably get it. Oh, yes. That's how you're supposed to do that. Right, right, right. I, I keep forgetting about the bounce bracelet. That's a really bad sign. Also, I'm aware I missed a checkpoint. Probably, it's not too important in my mind. I think I'll be fine. Checkpoints aren't really far between. I'll definitely go into Chow Garden for this. Sonic and Shadow and Tails and Eggman fight the most enemies, so every chance I get. Plus, I have a lot of Chaos Drives. Look at that. And one animal. I hate that I didn't bring Dash there. Whatever. There we go. Ow. I think this is where the flame somersault is. I'll know when I see it. Yeah, this is where you get it. Oops. Yeah, like, do this. I think, I don't wanna die, that's why. I wanna just make sure. I think that's what you have to do. I'm trying to grab this and it keeps. Yeah, nice. Flame ring. This allows you to use a fire, powerful fire somersault. Yes, and break iron crates. Love it. Such a cool effect. Sonic Adventure 1 really is just like the best game ever made. It, it feels so fun to play. Like the controls are so good. At first I was like, it's probably not going to be fun on DualShock 3. I will admit the controls are a little better. I hate this ring dash. There we go. I hate this ring. No, not that's not what I was gonna say. I was gonna say I was gonna say Dual Shock Three felt a little weird, but I got used to it. I think it's definitely more fun to play on the GameCube. I'll admit, it's definitely a lot more fun on the GameCube with the controls. They're definitely all a lot better, but Dual Shock Three isn't that bad. Either way, Sonic Adventure One, Sonic Adventure Two still feels really fluid. I don't want Amy to die, so guess we gotta hurry. That's the last thing I want, Amy to die. Also, have I mentioned that I like, I'll talk about this more in Team Dark, but I really like Eggman in this game. He does really well. Being a villain and all. I'm gonna talk about that more at the end of Sonic Story and Dark, because you get more into that in Team Dark. So, you know, but I do like Eggman in this game. Oh, we're at the end. I remember this part. I'm getting, I'm getting memory flat, like nightmare flashbacks. Are you sure about that, Eggman? I hate this part, by the way. I just personally hate it. It's not bad. I always used to screw up on this when I was younger. I used to be stuck on this for like a whole day. I think when I first played this. First of all, anti-gravity controls don't work like they should, which is why I hate it. And also just, I am uh, i was not that smart <laughs> back then when I played this. I think I know what I'm doing for now. I hope I don't die. I have a really good score right now and I don't want to screw it up. I think there's like a few pads you could take. You could probably do different things for this, but I'm gonna stick to the way I know. Yes, that was good. I didn't think I was gonna ring dash there. Look how cool.
cool this is. It's just a little scary that you can actually die on accident really easy. Oh, we're done. I, I did this fine. We're not done yet, but we're almost done. I did this perfectly. You also need to make sure you get a switch, I think, is the problem. I think you gotta make sure you hit that switch for the, uh, for the, uh, rocket. Alright, we got through that fine. I don't know if I got an A rank. I expect a B rank, at least. Minimum. Okay, I'll take it. I will take- I think I deserve a B rank. I knew I didn't deserve an A rank, but a B rank, at minimum, I was right about that. I definitely deserve at least a B. And I got it. Perfect. Also, we're going to do our chow really quick, and then we're going to wrap up Hero Story. I'm probably not going to go to the chow world next level, just because I really just want to finish Hero. Chow grinding is not going to be a problem at all. So we don't need to worry about that. Maybe I will. If I find the chow key and I get a lot of drives, I'll probably consider. So it's much easier to just give him the stuff. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, he's in the water now. Let me pet him for a bit. Give him a little pet. I don't want to spend too long here because then the other egg will hatch. I think a chow egg takes like five minutes to hatch. I could be wrong about that. If someone knows the exact time, correct me. I'm pretty sure it takes at least like five minutes in the chow garden. But if you keep leaving the chow garden, the time resets, I think. No, it definitely does. My chow would have hatched by now if that wasn't the case. So like if you spend five minutes in the chow garden, I think your chow will hatch on its own without throwing it into a wall, which is what I always do. Alright, that's it for you. Goodbye.